There are an estimated 370 million pornographic websites on the Internet. And for any parent concerned about what their teen does online, the huge popularity of the young man you are about to meet may be deeply disturbing. His name is James Dean, that's two E's, and he has an avid fan base among teenage girls, many of them linked to him through Twitter, Facebook, or blogs. James Dean, of course, isn't his real name. It's his porn name. Here's ABC's Cecilia Vega for our series, Modern Sex in America. It started actually with an obsession with his nose. I just, I think his nose is fantastic. Just a ridiculous amount of, um, of love for him. James seems like a guy you can meet in your neighborhood and just get to know. These young women could be gushing about any number of heartthrobs hanging from their bedroom walls. Ryan Gosling, Justin Bieber, Justin Timberlake. But they're not talking about a mainstream Hollywood crush. They're talking about James Dean, a porn star. He's the Ryan Gosling of porn. Today, the voracious, unstoppable American porn industry, by some estimates a $13 billion business, has now targeted and reached a new demographic, teenage girls. Evidence of that, Dean has become something of an internet sensation, with fans much younger than 18, a fact that many parents might find disturbing. You have this massive following of young women, some of them teenagers, what do you say to that? You know, there's a 15-year-old girl, an underage girl, an underage guy, underage person that is viewing a scene that I'm in or any sort of porn. Chances are they're doing that because either they're curious, they're horny, whatever it is, they're sexual enough that it is something that they desire, that they crave, that they want. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. Their parents might not think so. Why? Everyone has sex. If your daughter's 15 or 18 and, you know, at some point she's going to have sex with somebody. James Dean is porn's guy next door. So normal he kind of looks like he doesn't belong in a world where macho is king and bigger is best. But that's exactly what the ladies, especially the young ladies, love him for. He looks like somebody that I could see at, you know, a coffee shop or something and actually approach. Christina Olsen is one of Dean's biggest fans. And if it's a new picture that I like, I'll reblog it. She's in college now, but she says she's been a fan of Dean since high school and watching porn since she was around 10. My first legitimate encounter with porn was when I was in fourth grade, and I searched Playboy. It was early adolescence, yeah, and that's, you know, a very curious stage. She is not alone. There are literally thousands of women out there who share Christina's enthusiasm for all things James Dean. I'm the Wiki Witch of the West. Oh. Many of them are barely legal, some of them so young we couldn't even interview them on camera. Their parents have no idea that secretly they have a crush on a porn star. It is a phenomenon that not even the man at the center of it fully understands, but it's one that he fully defends. Are you encouraging them in any way to watch your films or read your blog or keep the interaction going? I'm not intentionally encouraging anybody in any way if it's happening awesome. I have no, uh, I have no issues with, uh, a 15, 16, 17 year old girl reading my Twitter. I have no issues with anybody that is old enough to understand. Like I understood what porn was and everything when I was like six years old. And I don't think that having knowledge of what it was led me to my decision to be in porn. And Dean, like countless other young people his age, maintains a blog and Twitter account. We can't show you much of what he posts, but what fans, old or young, see ranges from the graphic scenes from his movies and photos of his well-endowed co-stars to the toast he ate for breakfast or the burrito he wants for lunch. And if the visitors to his site are underage, well, like, oh, Dean says that's not that. something he can control. I understand that they're minors, and like I said, I'm not saying that they should be viewing porn. I'm not saying that, and I'm not encouraging, you know, m underage kids to go to my blog. In fact, I don't think they should. You know, the law says if you're under 18, you can't view porn. So, But on the other hand, you're also saying maybe they'll get something out of this if they go there. I mean, I would like to think that I'm, you know, opening up their sexual experience and being able to they'll be able to take their boyfriends and say hey i saw this in a porno i want to try this i don't think porn should be used as a as an actual learning guide and believe it or not james said he knew he wanted to be a porn star ever since the day he found an old porn magazine he was just in kindergarten so 
here I am in uh, kindergarten. I just learned what sex was. And, you know, it all kind of just like made sense. I don't know. Wait, at kindergarten porn? I, I'm not understanding. So, you, wait, you didn't want to get in porn since kindergarten? Or are you telling yeah, me you I did? did want to get you porn did since kindergarten. since kindergarten? Yeah, maybe first grade. It was this weird moment that I will always remember where I was like, this is what I want to be when I grow up. I want to do this. Dean was even suspended once for telling a teacher he dreamed of a life in porn. Now he's starred in more than 4,000 movies. The young fans tell us they are drawn to Dean because he's different. A porn star who holds hands with his leading ladies, who gazes into their eyes, even shows a little romance. And for the kids watching all of that, Dean doesn't want to hear directly from them. I've had a couple times where I'll, I'll, somebody will say something to me, I'll respond via direct message, and then I'll get some sort of thing where they're like, great, when I turn 16, I really want to, I'm like, oh, wow, I, uh, I gotta be careful with that. He has some surprising advice for those teen fans. Uh, turn 18 and buy porn. For Nightline, Cecilia Vega, ABC News, Los Angeles.